Hello, friends, and welcome to a brand new Rogue Tech playthrough. So, let's take a look at the mech bay here and see what we're starting with. Now, I decided I wanted to play with lambs, and they are somewhat tough to come by. So, figure we'll start with them. So we've got a couple of phoenix hawks here and three wasps. So let's take a look at it. Now, a couple, couple of episodes ago, somebody was asking me about uh, what's the better AMS, the clan laser AMS or the AMS Mark II. So what we really need is a little bit of visual support to answer that question. So Sherman set the Wayback Machine to uh, two days ago, and let's go back to last season's Mech Bay. And we will take a look at our Avatar 2C from last season. Or the Avatar 2 OC, I should say. Oh, here's our laser. Here's our clan laser AMS, which is basically the same as your inner sphere laser AMS. You're looking at two damage standard for both of them. This is 15 shots. This is 15 shots. Both have a 35% intercept chance. The clan one deals slightly more damage in overload mode. And Overload also gives you multiple activations per round. Which you don't have with the regular one. It's still only one activation. Now you get... So the clan laser AMS superior to the inner sphere laser AMS. As you will find with most things, there, the uh, inner sphere guardian is actually slightly better, even though it's half a ton more. But that's... Neither here nor there. So we've got here two damage normal, four damage in overload, which actually makes the laser AMS very good for taking down high hit point missiles uh, like Thunderbolts. A lot of heat, 22 heat per activation in overload and eight heat normally. You do have a jam chance in overload overload mode just like you do with a standard AMS. Now we'll, we're going to look both at the AMS Mark II which you asked about and the advanced AMS because both are slightly different in overload mode but they do have a lot of the same benefits. So the Mark II activates multiple times around, only deals one damage, has a 50% intercept chance and 30 shots. When you overload, it protects your teammates and allies, fires up to 40 shots, has a 60% intercept chance, and a 55% jam chance. Advanced, pretty much you're flipping it around. It normally protects teammates and allies, and an overload can activate multiple times around. Same one damage, 50% intercept chance, this is 25 shots per activation and 35 shots in overload, so you get slightly less shots. You have a 65% intercept chance in overload, and a 35% jam chance. Uh, so your Mark II has a much greater jam chance, whereas your AMS will fire slightly less. So it's a trade-off between the two. So, in a lot of, so th this is really why your uh, machine gun style AMSs, AMS Mark II, the advanced AMS, are in a lot of ways superior to the laser AMSs. They actually do work very well together. Um, where your laser AMS is only going to protect the mech which it's built into. So if you want to get that overarching umbrella, you do need uh, your Mark IIs, your, your advanced AMS. AMS, and you do want to make sure you bring plenty of ammo, especially in the late game, when you will burn through it very quickly. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the 
ammo here. So we're at 40 shots per activation, and we have one double bin, which has 480 shots. So in overload mode, we only have 12 activations before we are completely out of ammo. The laser AMS on the other side doesn't actually have that problem because it will not run out of ammo ever. But you got to watch your heat. So let's, I hope that answered your questions and let's head back to the present and let's take a look and see what we have in the Phoenix Hawk here. So we've got a snub, three medium lasers. What's our heat efficiency look like? Really good, actually. It's 72. Oh, I believe that's the lamb turbines are helping with that. No, so they are... Let's see, these are... Turbine capacity, afterburner, extra jump distance in lamb mode. Walk, jump distance, land flight systems. Hey, jump. We got a Beagle probe. I like that. Lamb turbine. Armor weight to structure gives us yada, yada, yada. Extended ECM. Interesting. Let's see. So we have active, passive, jamming. Very interesting. So it's greater range, it looks like. As well as, you know, not really needing to slap it into here. We got S we got night vision on this. I like to see that. Oh, okay, that's that's where we're getting the extra from. It's We're getting an extra 6 heat per turn, as well as minus 8% weapon heat generated. That's where we've got it from. Okay, looks good. Let's see, so LAM engine. Unit can change between LAM and mech mode. Uh, LAM mode, mech will hover above the battlefield. Walk speed translates to flight speed. Turbines provide additional walk speed. Uh, unit can perform extremely long jumps at increased heat for afterburner and not affected by terrain or ground. Now, one thing about this is if you get, if you're in lamb mode and your stability is knocked all the way out, you're going to have a bad day because that will actually instantly put you into mech mode and drop you on the ground. So let's take a look at the 2M. All right, so we've got lamb hard points here. Requires special slot and HP munitions. So I guess these are bolt-ons. So we've got a Vulcan, which is, wow. Extra accuracy against battle armor and vehicles. I like that. Uh, 10 shots fired by the hard point weapon. And these are uh, tandem style. Very cool. So we've got AMS flare. So that's so we've got AMS and um, tandem, basically from these. Cool. As well as a bunch of heat sinks. We're in regular cooling with this. Uh, still, we're we're good. We've got two medium lasers and an LRM ten. Okay. So what do we have in the wasps? Uh, booster pack, hard point. We've got high explosive bombs, uh, streak two, and a pulse laser. I kind of like this. Uh, that's going to help us out early on when we don't have a lot of accuracy. Uh, let's see. And we've got two of the 105s, which is inferno bombs and an SRM2 and a medium laser. Very cool. Very cool. So we at least have some lambs to play around with. And this is our guy Payday here. So we're going to go and... What do we want to go here? Um, 
I think we want to go focus fire here. Let's go with the cold shot. We do have him uh, with Assassin, Comstar, Criminal, Technician, uh, he's magis Magistracy, which gives us extra tactics and gunnery. And then let's go for Tactician as well. And we'll confirm that. We'll get a nice baseline of 5 and 5 here. Now, Bear Claw, I think we want to work on Bear Claw because he has both uh, mech and vehicle. We want to make sure that we have options here. How can I help? Uh, so what do you have? You are Brave Command Mech Warrior Military. I like to see that. So let's go with standard baseline, gunnery and tactics. That's really what we really need to start looking for at the beginning. Uh, Sigurd, also Command Officer, Mech Warrior, Military. Like to see that. You've got no experience, though. Okay, a Mech Warrior. Technician Mech Warrior. Not great. Uh, Synapse, what have you got, buddy? Lost Tech Mech Warrior Technician. Not bad. Ubi is reckless gladiator this is a guy to keep in mind for uh melee mechs down the road is i like i like the uh, the gladiator for that as well as the mech warrior and the ex-military that actually does kind of help he's pretty good he could be good for a lot of things then we've got varangian commander of mech warrior technician and wraith also, Gladiator, Commander, Lucky, Military, not bad. Okay, Varangian actually has some skills we can slap on him. So, let's do that. And, that was, and Synapse was our other guy. All right. So I chose test pilot. Was it? Who's test pilot? So we get. Let's get our loot box. So we got our loot box for our commander, and we have a brigand. No, it's a. Uh, Pirate mech, 25 tons, and it's got battle fist. This is actually a little melee action here. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have scored. Double flamers. Double X Pulse, Radical Proto Heat Sink Kit. I mean, this is just huge. There's a 25 tonner. And we do have a melee pilot. And that was, was it Bear Claw? No, it was Sigurd. No, it wasn't. Uh, or was it? Ubi. Yeah, it was Ubi. So we can slap Ubi onto the brigand and actually get some melee action going on. Right? Oh, whoa. Hello. Wrong difficulty planet. So, actually, our first stop is actually going to be engineering, where we're going to start. We need repaired power conduits, so we're going to go for that because the first thing we want to work towards is the second mech bay, so we can start. Rep we can repair mechs as fast as possible, spend as little time in space as possible, and let's go one skull. Yeah, we'll go one skull here at, uh, let's see, Arctic World, Mining, what was this one? 
This is a desert world. Uh, that's a half skull one. Let's go. Oh, ice world. There's 27 days. That's 23. We're going to go to Geronimo. Uh, Desert World actually gives us a chance to utilize our uh, flamer capacity. And the pirate flamers do extra damage to overheating targets. Very nice. All right. So back to engineering since we've just slapped on our first Argo upgrade. And we're going to get Mech Bay to in action right away. Oh, let's go. Um, uh, visual bug right there. Okay, there we go. Let's get going. So let's, uh, we're going to head over to Geronimo. We're going to get going on a planet that's a little bit more suited to our starting spot. And then we can see how these lambs work. That was really my big um, draw to starting with the lambs because they've just recently, in the past few patches, been updated, changed around a little bit, and... I think we really need to get our way into messing around with them. All right, now we, we're going to go automation here so we can get mech bay number two working at 100% capacity instead of the 50% capacity at which it starts. All right, let's go. Oh, we should ah, keep forgetting. I always got to check the hiring hall at that opening planet and see what we have. Let's see, we've got chronic toast. Now, we only have one berth available, so we want to use it well. Uh, military mech warrior. We got Jester here. You know, the commander, merchant, mech warrior. Orcus. What have you got? Athletic, noble, wealthy mech warrior. And Skyros. What do you got for me, buddy? Cautious. Hmm. I don't know that we want either one of them. They're not screaming at me right now. Let's check the command center and see what we can... Let's get right into a mission here. So we've got an escort. Uh, capture base. Solo duel, I don't think so. That's a target acquisition, which could be interesting. We got a battle here. Let's go with the capture base. All right, let's go in there. We get all of the salvage. And we're going to go Phoenix Hawk, Phoenix Hawk. Oh, we've got a yellow jacket as well. Uh, let's bring the brigand. And let's see which is which. This has the high explosive bombs and the streak and the pulse laser. So I'm going to bring the 100B. And then, yeah, these are just vehicles. And we'll bring the yellow jacket here with a <laughs> Gauss rifle. All right. So our boy here, Payday, Phoenix Hawk 1R. Sigurd. Uh, we're going to go Synapse here on the 2M. Ube was going to take the Brigand because he's got the Gladiator, so he's going to want to play melee. Bearclaw. And Varangian are going to be other two. We'll put Varangian on the Wasp and Bearclaw on the Yellow Jacket. And, yeah, I like the improved panic resistance here on something really squishy. 
All right, let's get going. First mission of the new playthrough, like it? I think we have a very nice mix here. And I'm actually very excited to play around with the lambs. Um, I did get burned on the last playthrough. We had actually just picked up the lamb, the screamer, from the, uh, the Flashpoint. And then they updated the lambs, which invalidated them, or at least invalidated what we had. So we weren't able to, we were never able to get the bits to rebuild it. And we rapidly moved beyond that, uh, that weight class. We did find a Timberwolf lamb, which is the heaviest one that I've seen at 75 tons. It was pretty interesting there. And... But with only the one part we had, it really wasn't, and we never saw another one. So we were never able to actually rebuild the lamb and get it into combat and use it. So here, let's do that. Let's, uh, let's get him in there. Let's try him out. All right. So we have to capture the base here. And this is really our deployment area right here. Uh, now we can deploy over here as well. I think this is our best bet right here. Uh, let's go for it. Now obviously we're going to be able to, for the most part, just kind of fly in there. And do whatever we want to do. So we've got a turret here. One here. This, sh uh, there should be two more over here, it looks like. Uh, uh, urban mech turret. Ooh, I see you, buddy. All right. Who is first? So we are in mech mode. Let's go lamb mode. Now, what kind of movement do we get out of Oh, my lord and butter. I like this. Six evasion. Oof. Gotta love it. Now, our lamb hard point here is the high explosives. Though we're not going to fire that off yet. We'll go with the streaks and the pulse laser, which actually have very good hit chance here. Nice. Very good. <laughs> Seven. Oh, I love it. Light Thunderbolt emplacement. Yeah, let's get over here and get seven. <laughs> oh. Absolutely loving this. We got a nice hit chance here. We are building up some heat. Good hit with the snub nose. All right, buddy. A Vulcan rack. Okay, so that's what it is. It's it's a rack. Uh, no, uh, please land mode. Thank you. Uh, we can still get seven here. We can just move and get five. I'll take that. <laughs> All that evasion. I love it. Oh, we're 35% on the racks. Oh, this is okay. It's it's range here and and no sensors, which is really. Let's go. Ooh, beauty! That thing's almost down. All right, Ubi. Now you <laughs> only sprinting for three.
And he's got enough for the Pirate Flamer to go. Only hitting one Pulse Laser, though. And Bear Claw. <laughs> Sprint for two. Good hit chance, though. That is, um, yeah, you, my friend, need to go back to the simulator. Ooh, miss, ooh, it, uh, Hydra's. Okay, so the Thunderbolt's missed. Uh, yep. Move for five? <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Uh, uh, may have... Darius, dude, can you please get me the intel in the briefing? Not when I'm in the base and see all the stuff that you're telling me about. Uh, this was the one we didn't see. We got an Urban Mech TU. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. There we go. That one just bit the dust. What can I do for you? A little better hit chance here. Oh, much better hit chance. Yes, please. Varangian. Uh, capture the base? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm loving these things. Standard quad ballistic turret. Alright, let's see what the high explosive bombs do. Solid hit. Very solid hit. Bear Claw. Let's go. Sixty-seven percent here. Seventy-three percent here. Double missile energy on the Urban Mech TU. Let's go for the quad turret since we've already got damage in on it. And we can't seem to hit anything anyway. You know, I really like mobility on my mechs. And these lambs are just so much fun with this. Let's go! Nice, opened up. All right, looks like they are. That was a hit. Oh, get a little something done on the wasp. I just like the idea of keeping these guys in motion. We are going to have to watch the heat soon. 79% there. Same there. Double AC, two quick cells. We can still shoot this guy. Almost down. All right, Varangian. All right, let's get it in there. And we will go for the Thunderbolt emplacement here. Very solid damage. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Ubi. Going turbo. 
Can you finish this guy off? You can. Very good. Another turret down? Can we get four here? Yes, we can. More evasion is always good. We got an 83% here. Let's go. All right, Synapse. All right, let's see. It's So it's... It's three damage over ten shots. So that would be 20. If I'm reading this right, then we would be down to 140 shots on the Vulcans. Beautiful. Another turret down. Good stuff. I like that. Ooh, big hits on the Brigand. Don't want to get that destroyed. All right, just the streaks and the pulse laser here. Very good. All right, let's come around to the other side here. And fire it up. Nice. And finish it off. Boom. Very good. I'm ready. Uh, let's see. Drop ship inbound here. You're done. Waiting for order. Uh, where are Copy that. the reinforcements? Heads up, there we go. What do we see? A rifleman, a phoenix, a swordsman, and a fire truck. One end. Four energy hardpoints. That's a melee. Uh, do the questions do these guys have spawn protection? Yes, they do. So let's reserve. We've got plenty of evasion right now. For the right so we'll let these guys make the first turns. Okay, the Phoenix. The fire truck. And we reserve this. It should be these, both the Rifleman and the Swordsman. Swordsman dropping LRMs on the Brigand. It's only a five. Not much to worry about there. All right, we've got a lovely direct line of sight here. He's got two fluid guns, four machine guns. All right, let's take a move here. And no hard point. Let's go with the streaks and the pulse. Streaks do not fire. And again, we're just trying to focus here on the fire truck. Ooh, nice hit chance here. Hit. Love that through armor damage. Going turbo. All right, it's the fire truck. Uh -huh. Beauty. Nice lucky hit there. That gets the acid off of the board. 
Now it lets us line up a side shot against the swordsman or the rifleman here. I think we're going to go for the rifleman. Nice hit. I mean, he's cover and guarded, so we do. He does soak it pretty well. Two large, two medium lasers, and there goes, unfortunately, our yellow jacket. Now he is hot. Waiting on you, Commander. So we want to make sure we can get a shot at the rifleman here because we want to be able to get the bonus damage on the pirate flamers. You betcha. Nice hits. All right, Synapse. Get in there, buddy. Here's your target. Let's go. Good hits. Good, solid hits there. All right, let's get in there, and I like a bomb, please. Bomb, 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 and no pulse laser. Let's back the heat off a little bit here. All right, one large laser on the ground. Is that a streaks already? Ooh. Uh, no snub here. Let's get the heat down. Very good. Have the swordsman come back. Hit your buddy. I like that. Good job. Alright, synapse. We are probably inside minimum range here. With both of them, so we're going to hold off here, just go with the medium lasers. Here it comes. I hear you. The Alright, let's get in there. Let's go Rifleman. Nice heat. Solid hits there. And the Inferno. I'm ready. We're going to move for three here. I know we're not uh, doing great with the evasion. Let's go with the SRMs and the Pulse Laser. I want to try to finish this guy off now. Not quite doing it. He is panicked though, and he is hot. And shut down. What's up, Commander? So he's not really a threat right now. A large laser SRM six on the swordsman here. An opportunity for a kill on the rifleman, but we don't need to go there. I'm going to go for the swordsman. Miss the PPC, though. Unfortunate. Though, fortunately, he misses his autocannon on the wasp. That could have been very bad. What can I do for you? All right, can we get this without go? No, because we're standing in the flames. All right, I like three here. Unfortunately, I don't like our twist. Got it. We're gonna have to settle for two. I'm gonna go vigilance here, a little more defense. And let's get him out of here. And it's a legging. And he ejects. Nice. All 
All right, let's get in his back here. No pulse laser again. I think we're going to have to take a turn off on the wasp. Because I do believe we're a little on the toasty side here. Now we've got full shots right here. Let's go. Don't like the stray shot there against the wasp. Not what I wanted to see. Ooh, big hit on the brigand. Alright, let's go. We do get a full shot here. Good hit with the PPC. That was fair. Waiting for orders. All right, so it is the right arm that's looking a little crispy, so let's back that up right against the wall. Now, I know we've exposed our back here. Big boom. Now, let's see. We are toasty. We can not fire the LRM-10. That helps. Here we go. Nice. Very unsteady. Going to make it much easier to follow up on. Oof. More Infernos. Let's try to put him on the ground here. Question is, will we get the snub in here or not? We will. This should be a knockdown if we hit everything. Yep, there we go. On the ground. Obviously, he gets a chance to get back up now, but his hit chance is just gone straight in the crapper. Good. Good. Now we're going to keep moving the brigand around, get him out of the way of the phoenix. And try to put a hurting on the swordsman here. Goodbye. That's a kill. Standing by. Of course, we took out pretty much all of it there. Well, let's just go for a move here. Try to cut down on some of our heat usage. We still get the opportunity for the backstab. And he hits. Good job, buddy. Shut yourself down, too. Get him behind him with a nice move. Go straight for center torso here. And we are out of here. Very nice. Nice successful mission. With a, um, with a 60 tonner on the board. But though it is primitive, and I'm always a little leery of pulling primitive mechs. Because you can get burned on what you can do with them. Uh, a lot like we did with the Urban Lord in the last playthrough where we couldn't upgrade the engine 
out of the, uh, I believe it was a pirate engine. All right, so we've got two parts of the fire truck. We got three parts of the, it's a 50 tonner. All right, fluid guns, large laser, SRM-6, nice cores, bunch of heat sinks, jump jets. I think we're going to go with tool kit here. And I'm going to grab the SRM-6. No, we're actually going to make it both fluid guns. So we're going to go with two fluid guns, SRM-6 and the acid ammo. Now, these are all primitive. Max here, uh, the swordsman's all right. Rifleman, it, it's, it's still a 50-ton mech, but we do need to be a little careful with it. And I don't see any bits of the yellow jacket. that We get a part of the fire. So we get... Pretty much all of the mech parts anyway. We got the fire truck, one fire truck part, uh, the Phoenix, all three riflemen, the swordsmen. We get two yellow jacket parts. Flu gun, large laser, machine gun ammo, the regular ammo, heat sink, fire control, standard and sensors basic can go, 105 core, primitive armor, no thank you. Okay, large laser Tronal. It's a primitive large laser, extra heat. Not for me, thank you. All right, let's go. Okay. I see two yellow jacket parts uh, in the salvage, so I'm wondering if we didn't lose the yellow jackets. We'll have to see. All right. Show me the damage bill. Yep. It's been destroyed, could not be recovered. We got 23,009 days. Could have been worse, but it is what it is. All right. So let's get the Phoenix Hawks to the front and the Brigand. Wasp will be last. I hope everyone enjoyed it. We've got a brand new lamb start going on. If you enjoyed it, don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, sub it. Smash that like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified every single time a video goes live. And we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.